Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. My name is Jessica and in this video, I'm going to show you how to save your Microsoft Word document. There are a few options for saving your file. The first way would be to save it to your computer. So navigate to this button on the top left corner of my screen. Now this is on a Apple computer. This is on a MacBook. So if you have a PC, this save button is going to be located in the same spot. It's at the top left corner of your screen. This is called a floppy disk symbol. Once I click save, it's going to prompt me to name my paper. I want to make sure I give it a proper name to make sure I can locate it later. And then I'm going to want to choose a place to save it. So right now it's prompting me to save to my OneDrive. But I told you the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to save it on your computer. So if you're on a MacBook, you could choose on my Mac and save it into your documents. You can go ahead and save it by clicking the blue save button. Again, this would look a little different if you were on a PC, but the steps are the same. If you are saving to your computer, so if you're saving to your MacBook or your PC, doing the step that I just showed you. Two things. One, this autosave feature will be off. So secondly, in order to ensure that your work is being saved, all the work that you're doing, you would probably need to navigate up and click on the save button every few minutes to make sure your paper is staying saved up to date. So that's the first way to save your file. The second way is the way I highly recommend, and that is saving to your OneDrive account. This is your cloud storage account. Again, at the top left corner of your screen, and if you're using a PC, it's located in the same place, the auto save button. So find that auto save button on the top left corner of your screen, and then go ahead and try to toggle it to on. Now you'll notice because I haven't saved it yet, it's prompting me to name my document and save it. So I'm going to go ahead and name my document and save it to my OneDrive account. So now that I click save, if you're already logged into your Microsoft account, then it's not going to prompt you to sign in. But I need to make sure I'm signed in. So I'm going to enter in my email if it asks me and my password. Now I'm signing into my OneDrive account to ensure that my file is being auto-saved and saved to my cloud storage account. You'll notice this is automatically being saved. So as I'm typing my paper, you'll notice in the top center of my screen, it's saying saving, which means it's automatically saving my changes to my OneDrive account. Once it's synced, once my changes have been made to my file, it'll say saved. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was helpful, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Share it with anyone else who may benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe to Being Classy. Thanks, everyone. Catch you next time. Bye.